This is breaking news from CBS 11. And we have a chase going on right now, a high-speed chase that has been going through Dallas that we are following. Police are on the scene as and our helicopter is up. Gil Mavalos with Russ McCaskey. And uh, we are looking at a chase that is on Interstate 30 that started in Rowlett, as we've been told. It's been going on now for several minutes. And they, at times, have been at a very high rate of speed. You can see that the suspect car is exiting right now. And that was a dangerous maneuver was a right there. Call, Almost already had our first accident. And so you're following that white older model sedan. This vehicle has been giving chase. We, we understand that Roy City Police is the lead agency on this chase, Russ. And on this situation, Rowlett Police attempted to make a stop. The uh, vehicle gave chase. And also, we understand that this involves two people the driver, which is the suspect, and we know that there is a passenger. But as we've been looking at this vehicle that's traveling at a high rate of speed, those windows have such a dark tint, mm -hmm. Russ, that we're not able to see what's going on inside. We couldn't tell uh, from the video that there's a passenger inside. That's what we're hearing from authorities. But at this point, we don't know exactly why this, uh, this suspect is evading police. W clearly does not want to have any kind of interaction with police at this time. We don't know why Rowlett police initiated, uh, tried to initiate a stop, a stop that obviously this suspect did not comply with. Okay, again, we're at an intersection right now, uh, going through what is more than likely a red light. Uh, and this is, I'm uh, trying to get a, a figure, trying to decide exactly which direction they're going. But again, this is over near the Mesquite area of I 30, near 635, and they have taken some few back roads. Uh, and again, we're trying to find out exactly where they are. Two people are involved in the, we were told, a, a driver and a passenger. And as Gilma was alluding to, we can't really see in. We don't know if they're male, female, or what, trying to find out some of this information and exactly where they are. As well, but you also see a police officer right there uh, on the service road. They are uh, doing the best they can to tail this suspect, uh, but keep a safe distance behind them at the same time to try to prevent any dangerous type of ending to this situation. And often what we see is that these suspects try to find routes, try to find areas that they're familiar with Russ. Uh, at this point, it, he's he or she, the driver, we don't know, the gender of the driver is weaving in and out of these lanes here. Seems like he may be trying to find, he or she, I should mm -hmm. add, may be trying to find another exit route to try to lose police in this situation. We know that several agencies are helping here, but at this point, we don't know why this suspect is evading police. All right, so uh, Andrea Lucia, one of our reporters, uh, has sent an email to us telling us that, uh, that one of the suspects may have bailed out in downtown and the driver may be holding a female in the car with him. Perhaps if uh, we could get... Uh, uh, Andrea on the phone. She might be able to shed a little bit more light on this because she's getting some information from some of the police sources. Uh, but again, this is a, a, a situation that started, we're told, in Rowlett and then has moved into the Dallas area, uh, south kind of over by Mesquite. And we're trying to find out exactly where they are right now. I think they're on 635, but we're going to continue to, to try to pinpoint that down. Uh, as we look on, several police cars are in pursuit of this. You see one that's maybe about a couple hundred yards behind the suspect, trying to keep a safe distance, but also keep the suspect in sight. There's almost been one accident so far. And uh, as he runs into more traffic, who knows what's going to happen because these suspects seem like they are not going to stop anytime soon. And important to point out, it's 1142, just before the lunch hour. So this is when people start getting on the road, trying to uh, make a quick, uh, have a quick break, enjoy a quick lunch. So you're going to see more people on the road here shortly. He's running into some traffic here. And... Trying to, He's trying to go around, around that yeah. traffic. Yep. Uh, we are also uh, streaming this online, uh, so you can also find that at cbsdfw.com. So you can check our website uh, for more uh, there as well. Again, we have a uh, at least perhaps two people in the vehicle at this point, and we have several police cars that are following in pursuit. We have almost had one near accident. You can see some of the vehicles trying to pull over and get out of this guy's way. They can tell that something is going on. Uh, okay, looks like we're coming to a stop. Uh, that was kind of a surprise. Somebody the way these guys stopping. were going, you see guns drawn. Police officers uh, have the, the car stopped. They are now um, making their next maneuver. You see, uh, looks Passenger like at least one state trooper. Down. Looks like hands are coming out. Uh, so it looks like this has come to a quick end. Yep, hands are out of the window. Okay, so. Um, yeah, so, so we're on a 10 second a delay. Quick 10 second delay, and, and that's obviously just in case this should get 
out of hand just in case uh, there should be any kind of violence. Uh, but right now, what we're seeing, we saw it 10 seconds ago, is that this vehicle takes police on a loop, ends up cooperating here, stopping. We, we're going to see the passenger side window roll down. There's hands, hands in the air here. Okay, we have uh, Joe Harn on the phone with us. A uh, uh, Joe, tell us uh, now, who are you? Or are you a former officer? Former police officer with Garland. However, I'm getting a lot of feedback. Okay, let's see if we can fix that, and we'll come right back to you. But because uh, we'd like to see kind of what your take on this and how they the, they end this thing once the the suspects have their hands out, they still have to proceed with caution here. Uh, but as you can see, police have the car stopped. Uh, there are hands out of the window. State troopers are there, as well as several different police agencies who have been chasing this suspect. Again, started in Rowlett, went several miles, high rates of speed. Driver okay. door opening here. Looks like he's going to try to step the out of the car. Looks like a male suspect has exited the vehicle. He's backing up towards the, uh, the officers, following their commands. He's getting down, and in short time, is likely going to be in handcuffs. And we're going to go back to that uh, former. Garland, law enforcement officer, talk to us about what police, what precautions police have to take now, even though the suspects appear to be cooperating now after leading Chase for, for some time. Joe, can you hear us? Okay, apparently we don't have Joe at this point. Um, so we're going to continue on with the coverage. You can see a second suspect is now getting out of the vehicle, also hands up, backing down, and it will, in short time, also get down on the ground. We think those are the only two people who are in the vehicle, but I guess we'll find that out in really, relatively short order. Again, these are uh, a, a case that started in Rowlett, uh, and, and a case that may have actually uh, been from Roy City, but Rowlett officers uh, tried to make a stop, and when they tried to pull over the vehicle, we we're told that that is when the vehicle started to run. Okay, several officers have now approached the male suspect who is the driver, and he is now being placed in handcuffs. I can't see the second suspect. So after this wild pursuit, uh, the driver is surrendering. Peacefully. And we're checking the back seat of yeah, checking the back seat of the car, and it does not appear that there are any other people in the vehicle at this time. So both suspects now in handcuffs, and a relatively peaceful end, although it was dicey for a while. It was a close call many times. Yeah.